Hey, how's it going guys? Jeremiah Vazilli here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you uh, kind of sort of a tutorial on how I approach doing screams and growls and if you guys are interested hopefully this might be a very helpful video for you guys who are wanting to do the same thing so here we go so first off you always want to warm up your vocals always don't ever ever skip warming up your vocals now the reason why you want to warm up your vocals is to for one prevent you know damaging your, your vocals uh, whenever you're doing these screams and growls and it also allows you to perform at your best so the best method usually what I would do to warm up vocals um, is just a simple like that just do that for about 30 minutes that's a pretty good run time for uh, warming up your voice and once you got that done once you're doing for like a good 30 minutes then you can get started so, um, to start out, uh, the way I learned to do vocals, I there were, I think there was two ways. One being you can mimic a dog bark, and the way you can mimic a dog bark is just basically going rough, 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 rough. So that's one way. The other way is you can probably, you know, say you have parent you live with your parents and they're constantly nagging you to do things that you don't want to do so you just go huh 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 basically what the moaning does you know you feel that raspiness in your throat you feel that huh like when you do that um that's kind of where your structure starts to accomplishing metal vocals. All right, right there, right there at the, the vocal point. Ah, uh, ah, uh, like that. So the same goes for the the dog barking technique. You have that raspiness in your throat when you go rough. That ah uh, part. That's where your structure starts as well. Rah. Just hold it out longer. Rah. Rah. So making these noises, just always make sure that you're using your diaphragm, which is kind of like your, you know, like your stomach area. You make sure you're breathing through your gut, never in your chest, because with your gut, you have a lot more air and you can push out screams longer. If you use your chest, to, you're not really gonna get a lot of air and it's you're mainly gonna start using your throat and you don't want to use your, th your your throat too much because it'll just sound crackly and it'll just shred your vocals apart so once you get that raspiness once you grip it and you're able to push it out longer now we can go ahead and start forming different shapes with our lips to get the different sounds we want so once you have the sound down now you know say if you want to make like an O you know just make the O shape with your lips and then you just turn it into that and to make like an ah you know just ah so like So yeah, so that's basically all I pretty much do. Now with these little demonstrations I've been showing, I'm not really putting a lot of power. Now, if I did put a lot of power with it, it would sound a little bit like this. So that's basically it for me. That's how I approach doing vocals. I've been doing it for about three, three years. Yeah, three years now. 
I've been doing vocals. Um, this is how I learned when I first started out. Um, you know, just always practice, practice every day. Um, always make sure you're drinking a lot of fluids, like drink room temperature water. Don't ever drink anything cold when you're trying to warm up vocals or trying to do any kind of vocals. Because with cold water, it kind of like um, restrains your voice, if that makes sense. So, you know, drink room temperature water or, you know, uh, tea, things like that, just to make sure you're, you um, just during while you're warming up your vocals. So I hope this was a, a helpful video to some people who are watching um, this because this is not easy at all. This took a lot of practice and I'm, you know, I'm not the best vocalist. I'm, I still have a lot to learn. There's new things I'm learning every day with different vocal styles and techniques and stuff. So, you know, don't expect to get it right off the back and, you know, just just keep practicing. I promise you'll get it. You'll be a freaking amazing vocalist. You'll sound sick. <laughs> You're going to sound like demons are coming out of your mouth. You got it. Just just take time to learn this, all right? It's just practice. You got to practice this stuff. All right? You got it. You got it. You got it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I appreciate you guys checking this out. Um Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to hear my personal music, all links are going to be down below. Or they'll be on this little icon right over here. So, yeah. Feel free to check that stuff out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.